All right, Coach, if you want to start us off with a quick statement, we'll open it up. Practice number four. Uh, you know, we're getting into the routine now. You know, how we're doing the week is Sunday we're off. Monday we lift and meet. We have long meetings. We go over the, the videotape from Saturday. All right, and then on Tuesday we practice again. Tomorrow we'll meet and lift and go over the tape on Saturday. I mean, from uh, today. And uh, same thing with Thursday practice, Friday meet and lift, Saturday practice. So we're into a routine right now. And, you know, we're, we're inserting a lot of things. We're really doing a, a – you know, we're overloading these guys, you know, and doing a whole bunch of install, offense, defense, kicking game. Uh, so they got to be on their toes. You know, I tell them when we get into spring football, it's just like the season. You know, you need to focus on two things, you know, academics and football and have that, uh, you know, that social part be a distant third. Uh, you know, you just got done interviewing uh, Devin Brumfield. We're really, really proud to have him. He's a really nice young man, got great practice habits. I asked him the other day, I said, when did you get those practice habits? He said he's had them since Little League. You know, he uh, really does a good job of uh, finishing every play, being physical. You know, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's good. We're getting some guys that are, you know, from New Orleans who are wanting to come back home, and uh, he's one of them. So we're, we're excited about having him. Uh, Cam Carroll has had some outstanding practices. He had another great one today. Uh, he's really uh, – taking on a, a leadership role for us, you know, which is what you want to see when a guy's been in your program for two, three, four years. So to start being more of a leader, being more vocal, you know, he's, uh, he's doing some things he hadn't done before vocally uh, with the other players. So uh, excited about those backs. Questions? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, we got, you know, the one thing that's that is a positive is some of the young guys who don't get as many reps. They're getting reps now, you know, and they're getting their opportunity to get in there and play and show us what they can do, you know. And and uh, uh, you know, Nick Anderson's a little banged up. Uh, obviously, Marvin is uh, Moody is out for the spring, uh, and then uh, Dorian Williams is a little bit banged up. Uh, so yeah, those are, uh, three really good linebackers. And then my man, Kevin Henry was sick today. You know, it was his birthday and he was sick today. Uh, he was sick yesterday too. So hopefully he's going to be fine. Uh, you know, whenever we get a, anybody who's, who's feeling a little down, we, we do what we call an antigen test with him to, uh, make sure it's not, you know, the, the dreaded, uh, coronavirus, which is not the case with Kevin at all, but, yeah, so we got our, our top four guys out right now. But, you know, I, I was – Jesus Machado is having an excellent uh, camp so far. Uh, he's uh, played a little bit for us in the kicking game, played a little bit defensively for us in a few games. And we think he's got a bright future. And, uh, you know, this is given Matthew Hightower, Aiden McCall, uh, Jack Collins, uh, uh, Hayden Beal. Those guys are getting – more reps now, so, uh, and I like putting different guys in with different groups. You know, it's sometimes you always have the ones go versus the ones. Uh, sometimes good to go ones versus the twos, twos versus the ones. You know, just to see them, uh, you know, rise to that level. What happened to Marvin to Moody? What injury did he get? I uh, had uh, labrum surgery. We did his other shoulder a few months ago. Then we did this other one. He was having some issues and problems, and we just decided, hey, let's get it done. And uh, he, he's going to be full speed probably by middle of May, you know, something like that. But, uh, you know, right now he's not able to, to do the football part of it. Um, Rashad Green played a little bit last year. Just how, has he taken a step forward, and do you feel like he's a guy that can compete for a, a starting job this fall? Yeah, we really do. He's he's a excellent athlete, uh, great movement, great feet. Feet. He's got a you know a really uh, uh, you know he's a thick guy and 
you know, a lot of times you get guys that heavy and they have a hard time moving around. He's got very quick feet. And, uh, he just needs to keep progressing. Uh, he could be an outstanding player for us. R really could. Thank you. Thank you, Gary.